What is up, Sagittarius? Welcome to your general timeless reading. My name is Jordan. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, like, share, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, helps the channel grow. Even if you're not new, give this video a thumbs up, it helps the channel grow. <laughs> um, but if you want a personal reading or a Reiki session, go ahead, book it down below through my website. I do have 20% off all my services now through the end of December. And also I have free 15 minute readings being given away now through the end of December as well for the holiday season for select tiers. So go ahead, check that out. Everything's down in the description box, but let's get into it. Let's see what goodies we have for you today. Let's use Grand Lux Tarot for you, Sagittarius. See what's going on. Show me what I most need to see for Sagittarius spirit. What messages of love, healing. Whoa. Wowzers. And guidance. What I most have for Sagittarius. What messages of love and guidance do you have for Sagittarius? They're showing me a lot of water. Water to me, well, water is just a very cleansing energy. You are the current south node though, and we do have that solar eclipse tomorrow in your sign. Yeah, I started changing times, okay. Judgment and the five of swords. This is, it's the washing away of the past. Of any conflict, any stuck energy, you're getting rid of it. You're getting rid of it. Again, this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Yeah, Nine of Cups. You're going after your own happiness now. Yeah, Two of Cups in reverse. Okay, so you're letting go. You're letting go of something you were holding on to out of like this fantasy, right? Out of this, you had put it on a pedestal and it's you realize it's really not, it's not worthy of that pedestal. Could be a relationship, could be a job, but it's just not in alignment with you with that Two of Cups in reverse. Tell me more for Sagittarius. Six of Cups. Oof. Okay. Six of Cups in reverse. There's something from the past, though, that you've been holding on to. It could be a relationship for some of you. No longer wanting to build. No longer wanting to build in it or invest in it. Yeah, because it, it wasn't honest for you. It wasn't honest for you. Page of Swords. Bottom of the deck, underneath the Page of Swords is the Four of Swords. You're healing from this. Whatever you're releasing... It's taking you a long time to see that it was not in alignment with you and is actually creating more conflict and stagnancy in your life and struggle than it was happiness. And you're now searching for your hope and wish fulfillment, your happiness. The Nine of Cups is equivalent to the Nine of Pentacles to me as a reader in regards to emotions, right? It's an individual's sense of happiness. Whereas the Ten of Cups is partnership happiness, family, groups, collective happiness, right? The Nine of Cups is for a specific individual. Um, now with judgment here, it, it's divine time for this to unfold this way, for this release to happen, for this purge to happen, which makes a lot of sense because Sagittarius, you are the current south node. The south node is karma, it's the past, it's old cycles, it's lessons, it's the clearing out and our nodes are about to switch in January 22nd, 23rd of 2022. So just within a month, right? And we are going into that energy of wanting stability, wanting things to last the test of time because our nodes are getting out of air and fire and moving into earth and water. So things that we can we can plant our seeds and really nurture them and care for them and watch them build into trees that are unshakable, right? Right, cool. I like this, I like this a lot. This is really nice. Let's do retrospective tarot for your clarifiers. Let's start with the page of swords. Let's start with the Page of Swords. Why is the Page of Swords here? The devil. Yeah, it was attachment. You weren't being honest with yourself about what you were so attached to, what you were holding on to, addicted to even, because the devil is like codependency, addiction, limiting beliefs. It's also seduction. You might have just been really seduced by something. Like, again, it has this very fantastical energy to it. Like, you had put it on this pedestal and thought so highly of it, and now you're like, oh, it's actually not that great. So, let me just off that pedestal. Woo, splat. You know, like, I don't know why I put you up there. Let me take you down real quick. Let's look at judgment.
there's a surrendering of the scarcity mindset, which to me comes out, comes across as like the need to release a scarcity mindset, that lack mentality, the fear of loss, right? That things aren't gonna work out the way they're supposed to. It's stepping into your power like this belief that, yeah, Two of Cups and the King of Swords. It's knowing that you are doing the right thing for you. The Two of Cups is a card of alignment for me as a reader. It's the balance masculine and feminine. It's your dualities, right? And with judgment, you're seeing very clearly what you're creating and taking action on. You know, King of Swords, knowledge, right? Intellect, communication is the right path for you. Judgment It's what your soul's really calling you toward. Let's look at the Five of Swords in reverse. This was the stuck energy. This is the stuck energy that you were struggling to release. This feels like an individual though. It feels like a person to be honest with you. Tell me about the Five of Swords for Sagittarius. Yeah, Page of Cups in reverse and Judgment. Yeah. Page of Cups in reverse is a lack of authenticity. It's not being honest with yourself about how you feel, right? You weren't being honest about what, what was making you feel stuck, right? It's almost like you were making up excuses like no it's really this it's really that and you finally accepted the truth the reality of it judgment right you finally made the choice the decision to let this go to let go of the stagnant energy because it, it wasn't it wasn't true it wasn't honest for you let's look at this nine of cups now let's see this nine of cups kind of feels like an illusion i feel like this is what you thought was making you happy but it wasn't this is this whole reading just feels like a lot of realizations that are leading you to make this choice to follow what your soul wants, which is nice. Let's look at this nine of cups. Yeah, six of wands. Six of wands is in reverse. It's it's coming out of battle and feeling like, well, I still lost. I still lost. I thought this was gonna make me happy, but it didn't. It's like that. This isn't this isn't what my happiness really is. Yep, ace of cups. So you're starting from scratch. I'm going to give myself that happiness. So you're realizing that the happiness doesn't come externally. You're realizing that the more I re I serve myself first, that does not make you selfish. It makes you have self-respect and it makes you have yourself as a priority because your reality, your relationships cannot thrive, cannot grow if you are not at your best optimal state either, right? Because if you're going downhill, typically everything around you follows does it not you need to take care of yourself and you're like you know what i don't need the validation of this person i don't need this per i don't need this person in my life to be complete i am complete as i am i am whole as i am i'm beautiful as i am and you're really falling into that energy now of understanding that i create my own happiness i'm, I'm done thinking that my happiness lies in another person or a situation or a success of a business or having more money no it lies in me just enjoying me in this present moment let's look at the two of cups in reverse yeah four of wands you're leaving someone or something behind for sure with the four of wands it's a broken foundation because it, it, it was no longer serving you it was not in alignment with who you are king of cups no oh, there's a lot of love there though you love whatever this was you love it so much and that's why it was so hard for you to let it go in the world and there it is closing out a lot of love for it, but I got to let it go. So let's look at the Six of Cups. Let's look at what it was. If it was a person or if it was a job or most of you, it feels like a person. Strength in reverse, Six of Swords. Yeah. So in the past, it was just, there was a lack of actual strength and courage to step away from this, to move forward. Because you were stuck in that Five of Swords. You were struggling to get to the Six of Swords to move to the state of peace, of calm. Because you were in this wounded warrior of like, well, if I stay here... I'm going to be stuck in this cycle, but if I leave, then I'm hurting somebody I love or something I love, right? Let's look at the Three of Pentacles in reverse. This feels like a lack of effort, to be honest with you. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune in reverse, Knight of Cups in reverse, Lovers, Seven of Cups in reverse, and the Seven of Wands. Yeah, so even though it was a very, very divine connection with the Lovers card there, you saw very clearly that there was big walls still. There was big walls, there was big boundaries. There was a lack of truly working together and things weren't changing because there's a lack of transparency in regards to emotions in regards to what one or both of you really felt and it led to a lot of drama five of wands you're like i just don't want to do this anymore right because we cannot force another person to change and that's what's leading 
you into this divine masculine emperor energy, right? Very, very nice. I like this. Because this is you setting boundaries. It's, it's you taking care of yourself. It's you releasing tension and low vibrational energy from your environment, which makes room for you to expand and align with your most authentic self. You're following your soul's path. And so you're overcoming this conflict and then evolving. And fives are energy of change too, which is really nice. But I really, really like this for you. It is difficult, but it's a very beneficial situation. And I wish you the best with it, right? But if you want a personal reading or a Reiki session to look into your own personal situation, go ahead, book it down below. I do have 20% off all my services now through December 31st. And I'm also giving away free 15 minute readings on my Patreon channel through the 31st as well. And like, share, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. It helps the channel grow. I love you and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.